Hi boys and girls, welcome back to science. So in this lesson, we've been learning how heating and cooling changes matter, changes the physical properties of matter. So we are going to today do a little, little experiment. So I'm in my kitchen and I'm going to be doing an experiment with you. So I have some milk. What you are going to do is in your science journal or on a piece of paper, you are going to be making some observations as I do this experiment from my house. Now I am going to put the directions below, so if you wanna do the experiment at your house with parent supervision, you have to have your parent, and um, then you guys can follow the directions and do this experiment at your house also. Before we can start our experiment though, we have to make a chart in our science journal or on a piece of paper. So here in this column, you can see that I have milk. I have a section for before heating the milk, a section for after heating milk, and then a section for after cooling. And sorry, I got some milk on my paper. You can go ahead and um, create your section for soap also. So we have before heating, after heating, and after cooling. Okay, but today for this lesson, we're just gonna be focusing on milk. Um, so we are going to make some observations about what the milk looks like before we heat it up. So in this cup right here, I have a cup of milk. So in your science journal, I want you to write some things down that you notice about this cup of milk before we heat it. Okay, so kind of look at it. I'll show you from this angle too. Okay, what do we notice about the milk? And you might have some milk at home that you can observe without heating or cooling it. You can just look at it. And we know what milk looks like. So milk is kind of like a liquid. So I'm gonna write that down right here. It's a liquid. It is kind of like a white creamy color. So I'm gonna write white color. Okay, there's no chunks or anything. It's pretty like smooth. There's no clumps or chunks. So I'm gonna write down that also. Um, maybe I'll just say smooth because there's no lumps. And I'll even put that, no lumps. Okay, so you're just gonna write down some things that you notice about milk before we add heat to it, okay? Now, on my stove, I have been adding heat to some milk. So let's go ahead and look at what that looks like um, after we've added some heat to it. Okay, and I'm actually gonna get a little spoon to stir. What do you notice at first on top of this milk? Look at that. After we add some heat to it, it kind of develops like this film around the top. Okay, and it's a little bit bubbly. There was some foam. Looking at it, it kind of looks like it's changing color a little bit. Like maybe it's a little bit yellow or kind of a, a darker white color. Um, and maybe it's a little bit thicker with all of the um, foam. Oh, and it's definitely hot. You can see the steam rising from the milk. Um, so what do you notice about milk? the milk now. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my paper and I'm going to write down what I notice about the milk now. After heating, it is kind of bubbly. Okay, it's bubbly, looks a little yellow. And it kind of had that foam on top. It's still a liquid, so I'm gonna make sure that I write down that too. It hasn't changed, it's still a liquid. That part hasn't changed about it. Okay, let's go back and look at it. See, it's developing that foam again here on the top when it's bubbling. So is it as smooth as it was before we heat it? No, now there's like some little lumps from that foam. So I'm gonna, oh, there's the steam. I'm gonna put um, not as smooth. It's a little bit lumpy, more lumpy than it was before. This milk before we heated it was pretty, um, pretty smooth. There was no lumps, there was nothing in it, okay? 
Now I'm going to let this heated milk cool and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna look at it and make some observations after it has had a chance to cool down and see um, what the difference is. Okay, boys and girls, now I've let my milk cool for a while. And so we're gonna observe some changes that happened to the milk after we let the heated milk cool. So uh, something that I noticed was that the milk has now these like little lumps inside of it from if you remember that foam that was on top. So you can see here, let me get you a good picture. You can see there it has that kind of lumpy mess and you can even see part of my other spatula that kind of melted off in it. Oh, and look at that. Look how the milk has settled and it's clumping together. So it's kind of turned from a complete liquid where there was no clumps to where there's some parts solids in it, um, which is kind of cool that that happened because of heating the milk. Okay, so let me see. Oh yeah, there, I wanted to show you again how there's some solid pieces now in the milk that weren't there before, right? And I noticed the color changed a little bit as we talked about while it was heating. It's still a, a tint, yet more yellow than it was whenever we started. It's still mostly a solid. Now there's no foam, it's not bubbly on top or anything like that. Um, so the biggest change that I see is that it has those clumps and lumps inside of it where it did not have that before. Okay, so now what you are going to do is on your chart in your science journal or on a piece of paper, you're gonna write down some observations that you noticed after we let the milk cool. Okay, so you're going to, I just showed you some things, you can write those down, or if anything else that you notice after we allowed the milk to cool, you're gonna put those observations here on your chart under the milk section. All right, so make sure that you fill this chart out, and then tomorrow we're gonna to be doing another little experiment where we explore heating and cooling a bar of soap and that's going to be a lot of fun too so we'll see you back here tomorrow for another fun experiment